I thought I had just done this. And now I'm back at it today. This snow is higher than our patio. <laughs> We're gonna have a waterfall pretty soon. Okay, we're going to start up the snowblower here for Hannah because she loves to work this machine. I showed her how fun it was and I just can't keep her off of it. <laughs> I hate shoveling. I'll push this snowblower anytime. <laughs> And I wanted to share with you uh, what happened with my big project list. It was kind of interesting because I had a combination of handwork, lots of handwork, and two or three um, piecing projects that have been hanging around in project boxes in the sewing room. When I got to the retreat, I started sewing initially uh, uh, by machine. And I realized that this was an opportunity to actually make some big headway on my um, piecing. When I'm at home, I have ample opportunity for hand stitching um, because uh, G and I, uh, whenever we're sitting down, whether it uh, be in our living room or watching TV, I am always have something in my hands to hand stitch but I rarely get hours of time at a sewing machine. So I thought this was an opportunity since we usually got up at 5.30 or 6 and sewed till about 10 in, at night to um, sew by machine for many hours. So I was really pleased. What happened though is I did not take one stitch on my hand projects. So those are what I'm going to be working on at home. But I wanted to show you um, what I completed at um, the quilt retreat by sewing machine. So I have this project here. This was last year's uh, Fat Quarter Shop Snapchat, uh, Snapshot Quilt Along. And I finished the last three blocks and which were here at the bottom. And now I am here at home, I'm doing all the sashing. And, and then basically this quilt top is done, which I'm really pleased because it means a project box gets emptied. The other thing, uh, other quilt that I finished was my um, granny, great granny squares. Now this quilt, I had made all the blocks and then stopped at the border. And so at retreat, I finished the border. So there we go. I'm really pleased. I, I'm especially pleased with this quilt because I did not have a kit for this. I actually picked all these fabrics out and got them out of my stash and combined uh, co like three different lines of fabrics to get the look that I wanted. So I'm really happy with this quilt and I'm happy that it's done because the project box is empty and something else is moving in. So that's what happened at retreat. I did a lot of sewing machine work and not so much, not any, in fact, <laughs> hand stitching. So I'm doing a lot of hand stitching once I get this sashing all done and this top all ready. 
then I'll be uh, working along on my goals. So it's interesting, my January goals have one, two, three, four, four hand stitching goals, and then one, two, three, piecing. Now I finished the granny square top, so I'm gonna be able to cross that out. But it looks like I have, we're already halfway through January, and I, I have um, several things that I still need to do, but I feel pretty good about that. I have my sunflower gathering already prepped, uh, my first block, so that's um, right here. And so I'm going to be stitching that before the end of the month. And I have this cute little um, wall hanging that my friend Lori gave me. I prepped that and I'll finish uh, stitching that, although that is not on my goals list. So how do I get all of this done? It's not in big bulks of time. It's in the 15 minute segments. I rarely sit down without stitching one leaf. I might just stitch one leaf, but at least it got stitched. And when I'm sewing, whether I'm sewing or uh, stitching, if I'm by myself, I'm always listening to book on, um, we used to call it book on CD, but now I have book on my phone. So I wanted to tell you about this. This is like the, the, the slickest thing. And it is um, Overdrive. So if you have never heard of Overdrive, it, uh, it's overdrive.com and it's a, just an app. You can go to your app on your phone and download Overdrive. And it's a program where you put in your library card. So I have two, because I live in two different uh, counties, I actually have a library card for two different counties, which is like awesome because I am never without books. And then you would online request those books, those audio books, or if you have a Kindle um, or an iPad, you can request an ebook and um, download it to your actual phone or iPad or Kindle. And when you receive it, it sends you an email and says the book is checked out to you and you have it for three weeks. So I have lots of things on hold and whenever I'm up in the sewing room, I am listening to a book from my library and I use a, a Bluetooth uh, speaker uh, for the sound to come out uh, and hook up to my phone. So right now I'm listening to the Pecan Man and it's just an awesome way to sew and read at the same time. So that's how I get a lot of my reading done, is um, with Overdrive uh, app, which you can get on your phone. So now I'm getting it back to sewing, and we'll check in with you uh, next time and do a little stitch tutorial then. I'll figure out, I, I kind of have a plan in my head, so I'll be talking to you soon.